During a Microsoft Teams meeting, you have a few options on what you can present to your coworkers. One of those options is Microsoft Whiteboard. With Whiteboard, you can draw, add shapes, text, reactions, and images to a board, while coworkers can also participate. To launch Microsoft Whiteboard during a Teams meeting, go to the Share button next to the Leave button. In the pop-up that appears, click on Microsoft Whiteboard. A new screen will load in the main window of the Teams meeting. This is your whiteboard. It's empty now, but you can start adding stuff to it straight away. To the left of the screen are three buttons, the Select button, the Inking button, and the Create button. Let's start by looking at what the Select button does. Once you press Select, you'll be able to select the objects that you put on the whiteboard. When an object is selected, you can then resize it, rotate it, change some of the color options, and more. The inking button brings up a new bar at the top of the screen with various drawing options. From this bar, you can select different pens, a marker, and an eraser. You can also use the lasso tool to select everything inside of a drawn shape. Now, let's have a look at the create button. From here, you can add many things to your whiteboard that are really useful. With notes, you can add a sticky note to your whiteboard. You can write anything you want on the sticky note. You can also change its color, size, and rotate it. Participants can also react to sticky notes. The text option allows you to put text on the whiteboard. You can change its color, its size, and its rotation, just like with the sticky notes. With shapes, you can add various shapes to your whiteboard, like arrows, squares, lines, and more. Once you add a shape, you can change the fill color and the outline color. Reactions are a bunch of emojis that you can also put down on the whiteboard canvas. You can use the star emoji, a heart emoji, a thumbs up emoji, and more. By clicking on image, you can add an image from your computer to the board. Fun fact, coming soon, Bing Image Search will allow you to look up web images and add them straight to the board without having to download them locally. Templates are especially handy. Once you click this option, you'll be shown a list of categories with different templates inside. Let's choose this one as an example. As you can see, once I put this down, Whiteboard automatically puts notes, titles, text shapes, and more into place, which you can now edit to your liking. That way, you don't have to set up your own boards if you don't want to. Lastly, we have Documents, where you can add PDF or PowerPoint files from the cloud to your whiteboard. Now, let's take a look at what's going on in the bar at the top. To the left, you can undo and redo your actions, and to the right are several settings you can change, like what the background is and whether or not participants can edit the board. You can also export an image of the whiteboard if you would like a copy. And that's Microsoft Whiteboard. Go ahead and try this out for yourself the next time you have a meeting. Good luck.